Hey guys, I was just checking out some of my seedlings. I did uh, some cucumbers and zucchini and so this is gonna be fun, but cucamelons, never done that before. Pretty pumped about it. I can't wait to see what they're like. But uh, I thought I'd show you the difference between a cucumber seedling that's come out and these little tiny cucamelons. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was really cute. Here's some more cucamelons. They're so little. But like, I think these guys I read get up to like, well wait, let's see, 10 feet. 10 feet vines, 10 foot vines. Did I read that right? Mm. Oh, height of eight feet. An eight foot vine. Whoa. That's okay though. I can't wait. I'm, uh, if I get enough of them and they do well, I'll uh, sell little bunches of cucamelons at my little uh, flower stand, if anybody wants to try them. I know I'm interested in trying them. Check all these guys out. And I have more underneath this table right now. I had to bring them all in because of the cold the other night. Check it out. Dahlias for Mother's Day. All the, some tomatoes and really nice looking peppers. And those paper pots are holding up really nice. More dahlias up against the windows. More dahlias. Some cuttings I took the other day. It's a little bit late for cuttings, but I couldn't help myself because there was like some cafe au lait. Some of my really, my favorite tubers had really nice long shoots and I wanted to uh, get some extras. This guy I shocked a bit. I think it'll do okay, but uh, I shocked him a bit when I du or dug him out. I've done that before though and had my plants turn out fine. Look at how big these eucalyptus babies are. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More peppers. Oh, my quinoa. Little baby quinoas are back here. And uh, doing asters for the first time. There's The asters are in the front. The quinoa are the long sprouts in the back. Never done quinoa before. Those are going to be really good uh, fillers. These are uh, my dahlia seeds I hybridized. More dahlias. Oh, look at that. More dahlias. Oh, cherry tomatoes. Look. Guys, these are going to be the tomatoes I'm selling in a couple weeks. They're doing fantastic. More dahlias. These guys are getting a little too big. I need to transplant them. Oh, more tomatoes. Some basil. I'm doing a round of early or zinnias to get blooms early. And for a few people who... Um, uh, well, Renee wants me to do her garden. Hi, Renee! <laughs> and uh, I want her to get color as soon as possible, so I started some up right away. I'm really excited for the giant wine. I've never done giant wine. I've never done giant yellow. <gasps> Queen lime red. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> more seedlings oh no wait these were cuttings these are cuttings I transplanted they all had a really good root system so I uh, they needed to be bumped up into something bigger so those are doing well oh my gosh I guess I could just keep on going <laughs> Let's look out here BAM <laughs> guys I have so much more in the house too this is just the Sun porch oh these are my winter sewings um, which, I mean, did okay. The Duffiniums did okay. Um, let's see. My poppies, Icelandic poppies are doing okay. Don't think they're going to be blooming by Mother's Day like I had hoped. But, I mean, I gave it a shot. Next year, I know, to start earlier and maybe do some uh, winter sowing or sowing in fall, actually. These are, these are all of them. This one's actually doing pretty good. This one's doing good. They got some fertilizer today. 
I don't know. I think like I feel this is my first time growing them myself from seed and I hear so many things from people having issues with them. But mine are growing. Like I actually did okay with this. So, I mean, that's good. I mean, otherwise, I might have been, if I'd seen what people were writing about how hard it is to do Icelandic poppies, I might not have even bothered with them, but I'm glad I did. Like, look at this guy down here. Like, it's, I know it's small. I hoped to sell poppy pots for Mother's Day. See, you get your poppy pot. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I think I just need to start them a little bit earlier. That's all. But who knows? I still have a couple weeks to go. This guy actually is even bigger than I was expecting today, so that's awesome. Got some foxglove. I think this is the cream. Um, Camelot cream. Oh, man. I'm going to make some beautiful... Oh, yeah, and this is apricot status here. Apricot status with cream foxglove. Ooh, guys, I'm going to have some really nice uh, color palettes to work with. I'm excited. These snaps are doing good. These guys are going in the ground this weekend. Lupins are going in the ground. Snaps are going. This is a dusty rose. This is a mix. I got Madame Butterfly and Rainbow. Rainbow mix. Minarda needs to be divided. This is Blue Fama Scabiosa. More dahlias. Oh, that leaf got a little crispy. That's okay. Feverfew. These are, um, was it Bells of Ireland? They won't flower this year, but next year. Ne these guys are for next year. I gotta get a bunch of these in the ground too. Bachelor button status. Oh, Dacus. I can't wait for these guys. They look amazing in, in bouquets with, um, with my dahlias. Like just absolutely stunning. Um, I'm like, I, I need these guys to do well this year and just give me all the like, they look like carrot flowers, but they're like chocolatey browns and cream colors instead of the white, like the Queen's and Queen Anne's lace or the false Queen Anne's lace. I don't know. I, I was pulling stuff out of the ditches last year that looked like carrot flowers. Actually, mom, my mom let a whole bunch of carrots, uh, left them in her garden and they all came back and went to seed and I was literally using the beautiful flower seed heads of her carrots in bouquets with my dahlias. And it was like, that's all I needed. I just needed that and my, my dahlias, my bouquets looked amazing. I couldn't believe how much they added. A carrot flower. <laughs> Anyways, more snapdragons. Look at this. Opal dark basil. That's going to be a really nice filler with my dahlias and stuff. And my clarkia. I'm really excited about these guys. More dark opal basil. I think that's apricot calendula. The few hollyhocks I got to germinate, which I mean, I had a hard time with those this year. What was these guys? Oh yeah, the nigella. Yeah, and then this whole thing is filled too. And these guys have been outside, even in the minus three. They survived minus three in here. I'm shocked. I mean, they are cooler, cooler hardy flowers. Well, except for that salvia. The salvia is not, but it survived. But the uh, sweet peas there should, are fine. That's more scabiosa. I forget what one that is. I got the blue fama, and this one is... Um, Shoot, I can't remember what one that is. It's a different variety. Oh, the red Merlot, maybe? Yeah, they did great. Even the, even the salvia. Bells of Ireland. Really pumped for those guys. And this is all my stock. I gotta get it in the ground this weekend. I, oh, I'm really pumped to see stock for the first time. Uh, lupins. More Bells of Ireland. I got some Cress and Bupleurum in here. Okay, this was only supposed to be to show you the cucumbers and cucamelons. But, oh, look at that. I better go fix that. <laughs> Bye, guys.